Welcome to Manage Your Members in Quip. Today, we are going to cover all things member management, including how to sort members, provision members, deactivate and reactivate members, merge accounts, and make a member an admin. Let's get started. First, let's navigate to the admin console by clicking on your email in the bottom left, manage sites and apps, and then the admin console. This video will be focusing on the site members section of the admin console. To sort members by member type, click the down arrow next to enabled members. Then you can sort the different member types. This makes it easy to, for example, check and see which members are pending, meaning that they have been given a license but haven't logged in, or see who else is an admin. To look up a specific member's account, click Look Up Member and enter in their name or email. Now let's dive into provisioning members. There are two main ways members can gain access to Quip. The first is for an admin to provision them from here. You can either enter in the user's first and last name, comma, email, or you can upload a CSV. If you are provisioning only a couple of new users, just entering in their names and emails is likely easiest. However, for larger groups, we recommend uploading the CSV. The second way to add new users is allowing them to sign up themselves which means they wouldn't need to reach out to an admin for a license. One thing to consider is how many license your company has and whether anyone at the company being able to sign up would make sense for your team. The first way is through email domain. Here, you can add a domain and allow anyone with that email domain to sign up. For example, by entering in tori at acme.com here, Anyone with an acme.com email could now sign up for a Quip account at quip.com. Another way to add new users is to configure single sign-on through Salesforce, allowing anyone who has a Salesforce license to sign up for a Quip account. Moving back to the Site Members tab, let's talk about deactivating and reactivating. Let's go to one of our active members we want to deactivate. Click the down arrow and deactivate. Gordon is now deactivated and no longer able to access Quip. To reactivate a user, either look up the member using their email or name or sort by deactivated users. Then click the downward arrow and click activate. Gordon will once again have access to Quip. Next up, merging accounts. Merging accounts will move all of the content from one account to another. If you have two accounts that need to be merged together, you can do that from the main site members page. Click on the down arrow, then merge accounts. Here you get a warning and for good reason. Merging accounts is not reversible, even by Quip support. So only complete this process when you are sure merging is the right course of action for your situation. If so, click continue and enter in the first email of the account you want to move the contents from, and then the email of the account you want to move the content to. When you click continue, the first member's email address will be added to the second member's profile. The second member can choose to have notifications sent to that new email address instead of or in addition to their original email address. Also to note, you can merge a disabled account into an active account. You cannot, however, merge two disabled accounts. Last up, making a member an admin. If you want to give all the awesome powers of being a Quip admin to another member of your team, Click the down arrow and then make admin. Keep in mind, once someone is an admin, they have all the same admin powers as you, even removing you as an admin. Yikes. If someone's role shifts and you need to remove admin access, 
Click the down arrow and select Remove Admin. Today, we learned how to sort, provision, deactivate and reactivate members, merge accounts, and make a member an admin. You are now ready to start managing your members. To keep learning all you can do as a Quip Admin, continue to the next section in the Quip for Admin 101 Learning Path.